I went to an open call in Philadelphia. I, I say this and I mean it about the entertainment industry. I didn't see any of this for myself. None of this did I see. I did not want to be in show business. I wanted to be in rent. There was a mm -hmm. show mm -hmm. that came out mm -hmm. and it, it moved me, it changed my life. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to be in that show. Mm -hmm. And so they were in Philadelphia, I was 16 years old and they were having an open call. I heard about it on the radio, Power 99 FM. And so I, I cut school that morning and I went to the open call. And I honestly thought that at the end of the process, whatever the process is, at the end of the process, my name goes in a file and they call you when you're old enough. <laughs> and I got a call two weeks after my 17th birthday to come to New York to be in rent on Broadway. And my life changed. Not only was I doing my literal wildest dream, like that was as crazy as yeah. I could think well, for myself. Yeah. Um, it showed me that this could be a job. There's a couple of these things that happen that push you to the next thing and that push mm -hmm. you to the next thing. So for me, it was like I got to do Sister Act in the UK and I felt like that was like the first breakthrough because it meant that I could like, I was established as someone who could do theater in the UK and I was doing all of that. But then The Color Purple came along and that, that sort of changed everything and it has probably put me right where I am right now. I was kind of a commercial actress and not taking that seriously. I would occasionally get small roles. And then I crashed an audition for A Bomb in Gilead, which Steppenwolf was doing. And they were coming to New York and John Malkovich was directing and had all these fabulous actors in it. And I got cast uh, in A Bomb in Gilead and I had to learn the show in three days. And there were like 27 people on stage at, at a time. And it was, it was um, and I played kind of a, a heavy, it, I had a violent f knife fight on stage. That was kind of a turning point. People started to think I was interesting after that. Everything seems to have needed me to know what it is to tap into the deepest of my emotions and the deepest of my my thoughts, the hardest and darkest parts of me I've had to sort of find and bring up and be unafraid of that. Um, and I think that's probably what's, what's led to this point as well. I think I was ready to do that, you know, mentally and physically mm -hmm. for her because it was really necessary to be just completely open. I've been walking with my face turned to the Many of you don't know slavery firsthand. But I remember. I've heard their groans. Seen their tears. We can't just wait for war. I'm Harriet Tubman, and I would give every last drop of blood in my veins to free them. When trouble comes, you'll be ready. So I'm gonna do what I gotta do. Go wherever I gotta go. Till this monster called slavery is dead. Liberty or death.